the Henry County Courthouse is located on Court Square in Paris, Henry County, Tennessee. The current building, which was completed in 1896, is Henry County's fourth courthouse. The current building now is the fourth to serve in this capacity and the third to occupy the current location. The cornerstone was laid in 1896, and the courthouse was first occupied on October 2 of that year. The building was designed by Chattanooga architect Reuben Harrison Hunt in the Richardsonian Romanesque style. The design is extremely similar to Hunt's Albert County Courthouse in Alberton, Georgia which was completed about a year prior. Upon completion, the building contained three courtrooms, twelve offices, five fireproof vaults, electric lighting, low-pressure steam heating, and a complete plumbing and draining system. The clock tower is indicated to be 113 feet tall. The tower clock features four dials and strikes a bell on the hour and half hour. Renovations include the addition of an elevator, air conditioning and several other modernizations. Some of the original interior woodwork survives, including doors, balustrades and banisters. Two staircases in the north corners of the building reach to the third floor, where a viewing gallery or balcony looked over the second floor a courtroom. This gallery and the original courtroom ceiling have been obscured by a new drop ceiling making air conditioning possible. Portraits hanging in the central hallway depict Patrick Henry, the county's namesake, and the three Tennessee governors who made their home in Paris. Isham Green Harris, James Davis Porter and Thomas Clark Rye. The courthouse lawn features several trees, a monument to the county's Confederate soldiers called the Private of 61 and a veteran's memorial bearing the names of Henry County soldiers lost in the service of their country. That hour clock, a number one striker, was ordered on for August 1896 via jeweler J.P. Jones from the E. Howard Clock Company. $670 was paid for the clock, hands and figures, 10% of which was given to Jones. The order shipped from the Howard factory on 19 August 1896 just less than a week ahead of schedule. Originally, two weights would have driven the time and strike trains. The clock would have been rewound manually on a weekly or semi-weekly basis. Rather than the customary cylindrical weights made of metal or concrete, the weights were actually wooden boxes filled with horseshoes and other scrap metal and built into vertical tracks. In the 1950s, the clock was electrified, and now two motors drive the time and the strike trains. The bell was cast by William K. of Louisville, Kentucky. The alloy is said to contain the metal of several silver dollars donated by the citizens of Paris, to give it a clearer sound. It was originally installed in the dome-shaped belfry of the Odd Fellows Female Institute, located at the corner of Market and McNeil Streets in Paris sometime after 1854. While installed at the Institute, it rang for the school's purposes as well as for the Baptist Church and for funerals. Six years after this building burned in 1890, the bell was installed under the cupola of the new courthouse. The cornerstone is found on the northeast corner of the building. On its east-facing side, the name R. H. Hunt is indicated as architect and E. M. Wallen as builder along with the year 1896. On its north-facing side are the names of the building committee. I. M. Hudson, Chairman, W. A. Carter, I. W. Morgan, A. Bilam, M. H. Freeman, and I. A. McSwain, Secretary. The first courthouse was built in 1823 in the Clifty community of Henry County, south of Paris. The structure was built with poplar logs in a dog trot configuration. The Court of Pleas and Quarter Sessions was held in the North Room, while a member of the Chamber of Commerce sold buys and liquor in the South Room. In 1825, some two years after Paris was established as the county seat, and the planned city had been lard off with streets and blocks, a small two-story brick courthouse was built in the center of town. John Burke and Francis McConnell built this structure at a cost of $143. This building stood until 1850, 